see how it all happens with a behind-the-scenes look at the Rose Parade. It's Coming Up Roses next. Good morning. Welcome to the new millennium and to Coming Up Roses. We're delighted you can join us here at the world-famous Rose Bowl for our exciting, exclusive one-hour preview of the 111th Rose Parade. With me is the lovely former Miss USA who did such a fine job as host last year, Shawnee Jebbia. Thanks, Clarence. The theme of this year's parade is Celebration 2000, Visions of the Future. And I'm mighty glad that I can begin the new year, the new century, and the new millennium with a good-looking star who's been a mainstay of Walker, Texas Ranger on CBS for seven action-packed years, Clarence Gilliard. And Shawnee, we've got a delicious hour ahead of us. I say delicious because it will give you a taste of all the wonderful flavors of the Rose Parade, which will be along in less than an hour hosted by two CBS favorites, Doug Davidson and Victoria Rowell. And we'll have a few flavors all our own. Sensational marching bands. Welcome back to Coming Up Roses. If you love a parade, welcome to the club. Right. But how many times have you watched those splendid marching bands in the Rose Parade and wished they'd stick around to play a bit longer? Well, your wish is our command, as in command performance. Here now are seven of the very best bands you'll be seeing soon in the Rose Parade. Right now, they're playing just here now is a band that's created quite a buzz everywhere they've played. They're from Fairmont, West Virginia, and I know, I hope anyway, you'll appreciate my buzz remark when I tell you their name is the Busy Bee Band and Honey Bees of East Fairmont High School. One vote of appreciation right here, Clarence. And to carry that a bit further, they have 234 musicians, 19 honeybees, two banner girls, one rose flag carrier, and one queen bee. Lucky girl. And as they pass a review, they're playing Strike Up the Band, written by the famous George Gershwin. That's right. As you know, the Tournament of Roses doesn't just pick bands out of a hat. They choose real careful and all the bands are champions. These young musicians are consistent first place award winners in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They're the official band of the Secretary of State of West Virginia, and they were their state's representative in the 1989 presidential and inaugural parade in Washington, D.C. And they're real veterans of the National Football League. They played at 22 Pittsburgh Steelers home games. 